fight was basically wrapped up. Bro shoots a gallant gun in the air and Kyle drives this man's bay into the ground. And it was all over. Welcome you to and today this grateful kids in history. We are gonna see how Raihu is the undisputed goat of Blade Blade. Because I thought Jenga would go with Blade Blade, but I guess I guess not, I guess not. We'll see. So this man charges up a gallic gun and just yells at her. It's time for time! He did, he did. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the round table in our first trial okay, of 2020. Okay, okay, okay. And with this being the first trial of the year, we might as well start it off with a absolute king legend. So let's go ahead and get this started. Coming in around 5, 8, when about 150 pounds of pure violence, ignorance, and destruction he is the wielder of the Forbidden Bay, El Drago, and made us realize El, that El Baby Drago, El Drago. Blade was the Y'all never want on play play. El Drago or one of play that you really have no control using it. El Drago like one of play that comes from the deepest, darkest soul of the underground. And you know, El Drago, El Drago will tickle your body and, and make you do crazy things and destroy every play play that it go against. That's serious. One of the greatest menaces to ever do it, Ryuga. Well, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. The ranking aye, system aye, is ready aye, to tally, and everything. he will be ranked in our new leaderboard system in our 2024 the, update. Going. Yes, I know your eyes do not yeah. deceive you. The aye, round aye, table aye. now has patch aye. notes. So without further ado, exhibit A. <laughs> Lightning El Drago, the forbidden bay that feeds off of pure negativity such as yeah. fear, evil, hatred, anger, and greed. Now some of you are probably wondering, <laughs> well CJ, how significant can this spinning top yeah. be? Well, what if I told you yeah. that the Roman Empire was built off the back of this bitch? Oh, 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 oh and I'm not oh, done. Oh, 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 oh. This what, has destroyed mean, civilizations. You, you see, the show doesn't tell you this, but if you really think about it, the prominent leaders that have probably yeah. used this bay in the past include Julius Caesar, Genghis Kong, Cleopatra, nigga, no. Napoleon probably used this bitch. And then here's some of y'all probably go, well, CJ, ain't, no way these ain't, world leaders no. could have been in this yeah, universe. Yeah, okay, ain't no way. why is Moses here? Checkmate, nigga. This bay was so what? demonic, they had to you lock it away what? in the sacred bay village so nobody could ever touch it again. Until right. the Dragon Emperor pulled up and stole it. And right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, Wait, we're already getting into Ryuga's first charges. Breaking and entering and grand larceny. This man pulled up on some Indiana Jones type shit and decided to steal a national treasure with the power of a nuclear warhead. And look at him, he like, it's talking to me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I want to be the goat. <laughs> So for Ryuga's first fight, he ends up fighting Jenga's dad. And well, <laughs> you can't even call this a fight. Blow got boomed in under a minute. Emotional damage. Out and posterized right in front of his child. Then look at his disrespect. After he knocks him out, he rips off his bandana and just starts cleaning his bay and just throws it down at him and just starts laughing at him. I should give this man a bonus point just off of that. Straight vile behavior. And they just left this man to die in this boiling hot volcano crater. It's supposed to be a whole kid show and Jenka thought his dad was dead. So a couple months pass and Ryuga's been healing in the healing chamber because uh -huh. El Drago then gave this man a mean Zenkai boost. And Jenka then mean? came to come get his get back. So Ryuga sensed this man's presence and said, ah, it smells like bitch in here. And I kid you not, this man blew up the entire building just to make his entrance. Bro made sure to get to the highest point just to make sure he asserted his dominance over Jenga. Then Ryuga just started talking immense amounts of shit. He was telling him, ah, Jenga, I got it. Did I just kill your daddy like a month ago? 
Wow. Oh, man. wow, wow, wow. Oh, come on. That was wow, uncalled you, for. You ain't had right, you to talk like shit that. for a good five minutes. And for five minutes, you saw that. Come up out the like water that? so they can wow. die. But here's what actually makes this fight just wild. So what? at this point in the series, Jenga has pretty much washed everybody. This man's like a he good did. 15 and 0 right like, now. Straight like undefeated. So right, you uh, basically had to show who was the fraud and who was the goat. Cause this nigga Jenga got absolutely annihilated. I'm talking like straight embarrassed. Bro was getting knocked back multiple times. It got so bad this man Doji just started glazing Ryuga the whole fight. Oh yes, Master Ryuga. Look at how so elegant and so graciously El Drago spins to the left. This man is glazing over Ryuga like, man, Ryuga know what he's doing. Ryuga got the Ryuga the gold. Ryuga can beat anybody in here. This fight just kept getting worse. Look at him, juggling his shit, cracking the nigga shit. Had this man Jinga on his knees, looking like he about to pray for forgiveness. Man, and while Jinga's on his knees, man, right? You could basically- to God. Or Jesus. You might be more ass than your daddy. No wonder your mama left y'all. Damn! What did you say, nigga? You should kill yourself, not Oh, this man Jenga got mad as hell, bro. Got a whole rage boost. But this is where Jenga shot himself in the foot. Because the angrier you get, the more power El Drago gets. Because El Drago's just going to absorb it. And you see, this makes a perfect duo. Oh, come because on, Jenga. is a troll. So wait, the more he wait, pisses wait, you wait, off, you? the more power he gains. So this fight was basically wrapped up. Bro shoots a Gallic gun in the air. And Kyle drives this man's bay into the ground. And it was all over. Pegasus cooked. Jenga cooked. Madoka is about to make a bag because she knows she's got to repair this man's bag. And uh -oh, ladies and gentlemen, this was just a start right of the there. destruction. Because I'll be that, honest that with you, that was just a prologue for this video. Now we are at Exhibit A, the greatest tournament run of all time. Ryuga's Battle Bladers run was uh -huh. something special, I'll tell you that. But before the tournament even started, look at his training regiment. This man has a total of 40 niggas surrounding him. And they have all Wait. been trained to master their bay type. So these are not your run-of-the-mill scrubs. These niggas are elite. So all 40 of them shoot at him. Oh, and this oh, man. So you say they are elite. Like they trained to you the uh, baby type that they were uh, born and worked with. If you're a balance type, they already know how to use a balance type good. If you're an attack, they already know how you attack. Stand like whatever type of baby you are, they already know how to use it. Emotional damage. Now, I know some of y'all gonna be like, <laughs> come on, CJ, they're not dead, yeah. nigga, be for real. No human being is surviving that. I don't give a shit if you're Prime Tyson or fucking Houdini. You yeah, dead. Right. This no, man's no human foot is gone. That okay. nigga is amputated. So yeah, mm. argue with a wall. Kill count up to 40. So now it was, it, it, it was time for the qualifiers. And you right. need a total of 50,000 bay points to make mm -hmm. it to the tournament. So how did Ryuga rack up all these points? Simple. Go on the tear of a century. This man goes to a battle royale with 99 opponents. He pulls up in his chopper, doesn't even get out. And obviously everybody is shook. They don't want to fight the goat. So they all decide to team up on him. This man shoots from the chopper and shreds everybody. This nigga boomed the whole lobby. This man soloed the whole lot. Right, this I, man is a I, goat. I, I this man deserves all the glaze, right, all the dick right, right, it don't matter. Right, who, this man's run was so see, legendary. It was on ESPN what. more than Taylor Swift. This is Sports Center. Breaking news. This just in. Ryuga is going on an absolute tear right now. After recently defeating 99 Bladers at once and just moments ago blowing up the entire stadium, we now have to ask the question, is Ryuga the GOAT? Joining me now is not Skip Bayless and not Shannon Sharp. Uh, Skip, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now. This man is a GOAT. Oh, Lord, here we go. No, 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 Skip, listen to me. I'm telling you, he's better than Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, Brady, oh, Mahomes, oh, Tyson. Oh, 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 no, no, he's no, 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 no. I mean, come on, he's using a forbidden bay. And you see, Skip, yeah. this why I can't fucking stand your ass. Because your ass is hitting. I can I can realize seven. that. He using a forbidden blade, bay, 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 whatever. He using a bay that you're not supposed to use. That's the only way he's racking up all the points. But the reason why he's racking up, get hit energy, hit evilness, 
and, and drove it into that pain. And when that pain, when his evil comes to a pain, they combine their evil together and they work as a unit and they can destroy everything together. Y'all, I'm not even lying to y'all. It got to the point where this man was winning at least tournaments a day i mean look at this Wait. these two dudes right here are in the semi-finals waiting to face ryuga instead of letting them fight to see who was gonna face them this man came out and said you know what that's a waste of time i might as well fight both of y'all niggas at the same time and y'all all right all right that, that's some, that's some third level right there random nigga with I, the I, I rather, the I rather get um <sighs> I rather get fans after that. I rather just fans in the life uh, uh, and uh, acting like that. What do you want? Yeah, man, we already lost, bro. Back off. Yeah, y'all are premium trash. Garbage. Straight fucking elephant testicles. Also, I would like you to join my crew. What the fuck? So now it was finally time for Battle Bladers. And this is right. how you can tell how locked in Ryuga was. They are having the opening ceremony with everybody out here. This man is nowhere to be seen because he is in the locker room, just sitting in the dark fighting demons. You can tell exactly what he's thinking in his head. Oh yeah, I can't wait to cut these motherfuckers. Oh yeah. So in the first round, Ryuga has to face Hikaru. And well, <laughs> In all honesty, this is probably the worst violation in the entire series. So Hikaru's walking out all confident and everything. She really thinking she about to do something, but her confidence was about to sink to the bottom yeah. of the ocean. So here she, comes the announcer. Well, right when she, like all her confidence, it got her. Hikaru confident, like she knew that she was gonna win it, and then go in next round. Come right, Huka. Right, who come come back? Boom, 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 boom. Squad Hikaru. Less than a minute, and that's just messed up. Like, right, watch. Like, right, I'm telling you, right, who's going to win? Squad, uh, squad, less than a minute. Less than a minute. And look at this man walking like, out less than a minute. Yeah, like less than a minute. Oh, you are minute. You already own one. That's it. Messed up. So this man charges up a Gallic gun and just yells at her. Enjoy retirement, bitch. Yeah, uh, we got some stuff to discuss. So let's analyze the situation real quick. This man just blew a hole in the stadium, put this bitch in a coma, and that uh enjoy retirement line? I wasn't joking. After this fight, Hikaru never picked up a Beyblade ever again. She retired. And what makes this 10 times worse, yes, she made already promised to her sick mother that she would become the best blader in the world. So this man did not just crush her. Points. Next up on the chopping block was Subasa. Now Subasa's already had a run-in with Ryuga before, so he created yeah. a game plan. And that hey, was and, to and run away like the game the plan. He knew the entire fight. He knew the game so plan and everything. Like he already had ass. this plan out. But Subasa's plan was to bait Ryuga to use his special move. And to give this man some credit, he was technically the first person to ever stop this move. He it was, was he was. But then Ryuga looked at this man and said, wow, impressive. Well, let's see if he could do that again. Huh? So oh. Ryuga charged up another yeah, one and then started to drain right? his soul to make sure bro did not get up a second time, then just pile drive this bait. This man Subasa was cut. <laughs> Oh, and not to mention, the man destroyed the st Holy <laughs> look at all this damage. Uh, so that's another case of putting a nigga in a coma with property no! damage on the side. So <laughs> next up was oh, the yeah, battle yeah. of the dogs. Cause this man Kiyoya was one of the only people to ever give this man a fight. But before the fight even happens, look how Ryuga asserts his dominance. This man blows up the stadium once again, just because he felt like it. And also since he blew up the stadium, this fight is a death match now. Cause since the stadium- 
Team's gone. There's no yeah. recounts. So they start fighting. Kiyoya is actually holding his own, which is a rarity okay, okay. when it comes to fighting this nigga. But over time, right, you could just start it pressuring this man. Bro started to get flung. Like, look how bro hit that wall. Like, this man's spine has to be fucked. He probably gave him scoliosis after that hit. But Kiyoya was going blow for blow with bro. Well, they were setting off literal mortar strikes in a public domain. Like, I'm on all honesty surprised that most of these pedestrians at these damn tournament arcs do not die. Like, how would one of these yeah. niggas got caught astray. And look at Kiyoya just getting blown the fuck up while they just cheering in the background like, yeah! Like, if you really think about it, these motherfuckers are sick. They are here watching, like, 12-year-old kids have a death match. So they both end up going for a final attack and set off a nuke. But Ryuga ends up getting taken over by El Drago. And El Drago told that man, my time is over, little nigga. So this man charges up an egregious attack that made everybody evacuate the stadium again. And oh, Kiyoya come on, right here. Uh, uh, Not again. This is the third time you blew up the stadium. Bro straight up got impaled on a kid show. And bro just staring at him like, yeah, <laughs> weak ass niggas. Another nigga, another coma. So obviously Kiyoya's biggest glazer, Ben K, got mad as hell. Bro was like, how dare you touch my glorious King Kiyoya? So he tries to attack him, but Ryuka jumps up, tells him, Get out, Porky the Pig! And Big K gets boomed! And this is the second time he didn't got boomed. He got boomed in the Battle Royale. Damn. And just like that, this man made the finals and put all his opponents in comatosis. Damn, oh, like, bro. We can't forget. Who well, he did gonna to the be Ryuga? Nobody gonna see him. Any person that was associated with the Dark I'm Nebula in this you. tournament? Yeah, right. You got the ass after they lost. The bro just got a triple kill. Look at these two it, niggas it, on the ground over here. They already done got fucked him. up. It was probably so I brutal, they didn't even decide to show it. And bro wasn't even done. After this, he takes out the air. Nigga again, and also the crab nigga. Bro just brutally assaulted seven dudes in the amount of Bro, 30 you, seconds. Well, they could basically become food for El Drago. Yes, you, okay, you so thought he was done? No, no, no. Unless he ended up catching this man. Doji black. Doji beat and up crash? and everything. So Doji out here trying to save his ass like, I'm Master Ryuga, my glorious king. Just so you know, I didn't get to beat up by anybody. But this man Ryuga did not care. Bro said, nigga, mm -hmm. you weak as shit. So go ahead and make yourself useful and give up that ass. No, 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 no. Yo, wait, 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 wait. I so Ryuga here. starts murdering his closest ally and just straight up takes his soul. This man, Doji, uh, let's be real, y'all. This man got his booty devoured. Like. The fact that he dodged Get death down. right here is astonishing. So now it was finally time for the finals. The greatest of all time versus the main character. Surely the goat wouldn't get robbed by plot, right? Oh my so them boys let it rip and Ryuga's already coming in with the pressure. He's damn near pushing this man Jingo off the damn stage. And he's just eating every single special move he's getting thrown at him. Look at him, he uppercutted the shit out of his mate and just slammed it into the ground and he's just drilling it. So this fight already looks wrapped up. Ryuga already got a 3-1 lead and is beating this man's ass. The final yeah, 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 yeah. But of course, yeah. the refs come oh, and the writers win. come in to save the day. Because here comes like the power the of friendship. Because all this oh, man's friends are here on top oh. of this building. Please, please. The script is trying to rob this nigga. So obviously, Jenga gets an amp and is somehow pushing this man back. This is some bullshit. I refuse to believe that this nigga is about to get 28 3 So Ryuga's like, oh, hell no, nah, my legacy's on the line. So my man charges up his Dalek gun and he goes ahead and shoots it at him. But this man Jenga's pushing it back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing a robbery. So then El Drago takes over Ryuga. And bro was not pleased. Bro said, oh, hell no, nigga. Our legacy's on the line. Are you pulling this bullshit? No, fuck that. So Jenga just started getting pressured. El Drago was whooping that ass. Bro had to save the legacy. Bro was pulling oh, out right, every right, single right. move in the Jenga, move list. Jenga, Jenga was had standing it. there close you to getting it. back. But then again, here comes a scriptwriter saving the day. Because Hikaru, Sabasa, and Kiyoya come to save Bruh. this nigga. Like, bro, what the fuck is a ref? Can we get attack? Like, bay interference or something? Something? So they basically make this man's Bay a spirit bomb. Nah, nah, they know a pack, they know, nah, nah, nah. So Ryu, realize script Ryu is on Daniel Dari because you want to put it in my dirty. Right when you stole that blade, that blade took your soul. That blade took your soul, your mind. It took over your body. 
you wasn't you anymore. So that's why script right told told herself, oh, oh, we're gonna we're gonna write off and the jingle went and beat your bitch ass. So they basically make this man's bay a spirit bomb, and the fight ends up going to the stratosphere, and El Drago gets slammed, and Ryuga takes the first loss of his career. <sighs> Tough times, man. It sucks when you see your goat lose, bro. Hey, but get this though, Ryuga may have lost, but Storm Pegasus had to retire. Blood said the lights were too bright, I can't do this no more, and Ryuga? That man picked up El Drago and said, I ain't gonna let these script writers hold me ever again. Bro said, fuck going to Cancun, we going back to the lab. All right, hey y'all. All right, we gotta rerun that. We gonna, we gonna have to uh, see see the bottom of it, uh, depths and stuff. All right, so total exhibit. A we show one kill count forty violence violence is a hundred and sixteen lost you know we lost ones and other crime action and disputes five toy score what the toy score a hundred and sixty one gentlemen that concludes exhibit A yeah, uh, we're not done yet. Not even close, actually. And already with a whopping score of 161. That was just the beginning of this man's legendary career. So, when will part two drop? You know what? To hell with it, bro. We'll do it just like we did with Shibuya Trials. Like the video, I'll drop this hoe next week. And until then... Yes. We found out why they call Raihuga the go. I guess we find out why Raihuga spirit them on in every dragon like subscribe and click on this icon if you want to see more of lz reaction music or click on another disgraceful character in history peace